Hey guys, Eat Sleep from the Techies here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the um, clone stamp tool in Paint.net. And uh, pretty much what this is for is you essentially take a clone of like an area of the picture, and then you can color another area with the same color. So essentially you're just like removing um, a certain part of the picture from the picture. So I chose a... Um, a solid background, the water and like fish, because um, this works best with solid backgrounds. It'd be really difficult with um, uh, you know multiple colored backgrounds or a gradient or something like that. Even though this is a gradient. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do to see is we're going to be working in this area over here. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in, and uh, as you can see, we have lots of little uh, fish that um, uh, let's say I don't want them there. So what we can do is we can grab our clone stamp and the shortcut key is L and click on an area of the f in my case water that I want to replace these uh, fish here with so if I control click and then click again somewhere else it gives me this like these two circles and what I can do is just remove these guys like that I'm removing all this these fish here move that guy Move that guy, and as you can see, when you're done, it it still leaves kind of like um very noticeable. It doesn't look too clean or um you know professional, if you will. So uh, what we can do actually is grab the lasso tool over here and just um circle around uh, the area that we um edited out. So we just selected it with the lasso tool. Then we can go to the effects, blurs, Gaussian blur, and just add a blur, maybe like blurred out like that. And if we deselect it, you cannot tell. Let me zoom out, actually. Yep, there you go. This little area here that used to have fish, you cannot tell that there was fish ever there. So, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This has been Eat Sleep from the Techies. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out the Techies website for great game and software reviews, as well as a database of all Techies videos. Also, please sign up to our forum where you can request a tutorial or just talk about something that interests you.